Hi everyone, KinVax Live is about to start. Hopefully last week you remember we talked a little bit about our partnership with MCC and what our church is doing in the next couple of weeks to help our Indigenous neighbors with some materials that they need to help fight COVID-19. Now as a family, if you would like to learn more about our Indigenous neighbors here in Ontario, you can head to the website themeetinghouse.com slash pandemic response. And in there, there are some different activities and resources for families like you uh, to use to learn more about our neighbors and what we are doing as a church to help in this season. Now, just a couple of reminders for you parents before we start today. Of course, if you need any of the resources that we're going to be talking about, you can head to the parent blog to access that. We have our KidMax Instagram account where we're sharing tons of pictures each week of what we are doing at home together in this season. And also, if you want to send in your pictures so that we can showcase you in a future episode potentially, um, or on our Instagram, you can email us at KidMax at TheMeetingHouse.com. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of KidMax Live. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Hi friends, welcome to KidMax Live. Alyssa here. I am so excited to be hanging out with you today. We have a ton of fun stuff today. But let's take a look first at what you all did last week because you sent in some amazing photos. Here are a few of them now. And it's so awesome to see the crafts and activities that you're all doing at home. And you know the drill by now, you need to wait till the end of KidMax Live to see all the rest of the photos you sent in. They're awesome, so make sure you stick around for that. Okay, preschool friends, it is a brand new month, which means we have a brand new big idea. Are you ready to hear it? Okay, this month's big idea is we can encourage each other. So to see how this big idea connects with today's story, we're gonna go to Lisa, who's gonna tell us this week's story. Over to you, Lisa. Thanks, Alyssa. Hi, friends. I am so excited to be here with you today to share a story from the Big Bible Storybook. And the story that we're going to be reading is called Paul Makes New Friends. Here we go. Paul went from town to town telling people about Jesus. One day, he met a man called Aquila and his wife, Priscilla. Aquila and Priscilla loved Jesus too. Come and stay at our house, Aquila told Paul. We can work together. So Paul, Priscilla, and Aquila worked together, making tents out of strong leather. And Paul, Priscilla, and Aquila talked about their friend Jesus to everyone they met. Soon, lots of other people wanted to become friends of Jesus. After a while, Paul said it was time to go to a new place. Priscilla and Aquila said, we'd like to come and help you tell people about Jesus. So that's what they did. The three of them traveled to another city, and there they made more new friends. Friends for them, and friends for Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but I love making new friends, and I love that Jesus is my friend. Back to you, Alyssa. Thanks so much, Lisa. I love that story. Isn't it cool how Priscilla and Aquila went with Paul to help and support him? What great friends. And this week's craft is a coloring sheet of Priscilla and Aquila encouraging Paul. It's an awesome one. Here are a few of our friends who have already done this week's coloring sheet. It looks great and I can't wait to see how yours turns out. So make sure you take a picture and send it to us at kidmax at themeetinghouse.com. Okay, grades one to five. This week's big idea is Jesus is worth worshiping. And in our God story, we're starting a brand new series on the book of Revelation, where John wrote down what Jesus told him is gonna happen in the future. And in today's life story, it's a really cool one. We're gonna go with Chris on a trip into nature. And I know for me, it's awesome when I go into nature and I see everything that God created, and it really is a good reminder that Jesus is worth worshiping. So let's take a sneak peek right now. Jesus as God and created all of this. Like, it's unbelievable. Like, it's so, it's really, honestly, it's, it's straight up impressive. And then this God, you know, chose to go under unbelievable human scrutiny and suffering on earth, and then actually die in like the worst way, you know, for the people that put him underneath that suffering. That totally makes him seem, you know, worth, worth worshiping. 
That is so awesome. Okay, for small group today, we're focusing on Jesus being the alpha and the omega, or the beginning and the end. And we have this activity sheet with the Greek letters alpha and omega on it. And this is mine. I took some inspiration from the Kid Max Live logo and put some fun colors and patterns on it. I can't wait to see what yours turns out like. And we're also in small group, gonna be finishing the sentence together. Jesus is worth worshiping because. Now, I know small group looks different right now, but it's still so awesome to do small group with our family at home or connecting virtually with our friends. I'll show you. I'm gonna start and then a few of our friends are gonna jump in. Jesus is worth worshiping because he gives us peace. Jesus is worth worshiping because he loves us. Jesus is worth worshiping because he provides for us. Jesus is worth worshiping because he created and died for us. Thanks so much, friends. I loved hearing everything that you had to share. Well, that's all we have for Kid Max Live today. I had so much fun. I hope you did as well. We're heading into some family worship time now. So we're gonna have some music. Make sure you sing along. And during the teaching time, let's get together as a family and see if we can learn one new thing. I'm excited to see what I learn. Okay, as promised, here are all the photos from this week that you sent in. And we will catch you next week for Kid Max Live. Bye. <laughs>